Happy Sabbath, kids. I guess it wasn't a very happy Sabbath. I'm going to try that one more time. Happy Sabbath, kids. I guess we'll send them home and they can practice. Next week, they'll be prepared to shout happy Sabbath. All right. Well, let me ask you a question this morning, kids. How many of you have ever, at any time in your life, asked your parents for something? You do it a lot of times? Yeah. My daughter asks me for a lot of things a lot of times. What are some things that you ask your parents for? A cell phone. A cell phone. (laughs) All right. What are some things you ask your parents for? More racetracks. More racetracks. And what are some of the things you ask your parents for? To go to my friend's house. Okay. Ice cream. Ice cream. Over here, what do you ask your parents for? Friend's house. Friend's house one. Oh, to go to your friend's house? More toys. More toys? Go to my friend's house. Go to your friend's house? I ask where my when my iPod case is coming. <laughs> when your iPod case is coming. All right. One more, one more over here. For new video games. All right. Sounds like a wish list. You know, Christmas is only like eight months away. (laughs) It's less than that, right? Man, okay, never mind. So we all ask for our parents for things, right? Now, what are some of the answers that your parents give you? No. No. I don't know. You don't know? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know? Of course not. Of course not. Commission. Commission. All right. Well, do your parents ever say yes? No? Sometimes? Okay. So sometimes our parents say no, and sometimes our parents say yes. Is there something else that our parents may tell us when we ask them for something? Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. Okay. All right. Sometimes our parents may say something like, wait, right? Right? They may say, wait, not right now, maybe later. You know, sometimes Rylan asks me, she wants to have a snack, and I say, well, not right now, maybe later, right? Are there any more options? Hold on, it's not your birthday yet. Hold on, it's not your birthday. I think that's another way of saying wait. (laughs) All right. So there are many different ways that our parents can respond to when we ask them for things. Now, I want you to put your thinking caps on, okay? Thinking caps, thinking caps. Do we ever ask God for some things? Yeah, yeah, sometimes we do ask God for some things. How do we ask God for some things? What do we do when we want to ask God for something? Pray. Yes! We pray when we ask God for some things. Now, how many different ways can God answer when we ask God for some things? How many, how many ways? The same things as your parents does. The same things that your parents do? You know what? I think you're very right, Lyra. Sometimes when we ask God for things, does he always say yes? No. Does he always say no? No. Does he always say wait? No. It's not always the same answer, right? Sometimes it's a yes. Sometimes it's a no. And sometimes God says, wait, I've got something better for you, right? Does that mean God doesn't love us? No, it doesn't. Actually, it means that God does love us, right? 
When he gives us stuff, it's because he loves us. When he, with, when he says, you can't have that, it's because he loves us. And when he says, wait, it's because he loves us. So when we pray, we always have to keep in mind that God can answer in many different ways. Sometimes it's a yes, sometimes it's a no, and sometimes it's a wait until later. All right, so keep that in mind the next time you pray to God for something. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Gracious Lord, we love you and we thank you because we can go to you in prayer, because we can ask you for things. And help us, Lord, to accept your answers to us when we ask you for things. Help us to accept a yes when it is a yes. Help us to accept a no when it is a no. And help us to accept a wait when it is a wait. And always, always help us to remember that you love us. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.